Okay, evening everyone. Um, I've had a comment on uh, one of my videos from O50R Paul, who recently bought the Blade 330S and unfortunately he had a little bit of an incident and he's had to fit um, a new main shaft and now is in the process of setting up um, the swash plate because I told him that you know um, you need to level the swash plate that sent the stick and he's asked me through the comments um, if if I could explain to him I was done well I thought the easiest way to do that would be to just quickly make a video so it's not going to uh, be of interest to everybody but anybody really with a Blade 330S might find it interesting so basically what you need to do Paul okay is when you go into the transmitter okay you go to forward programming click on forward programming and that takes you into your main menu go down to setup and then go to swash plate now you can see there that you've got output setup so if you go to output setup and straight away there you hear right the swash plate move on the helicopter so go into sub trim and then you can see you've got output channel 1, output channel 2, output channel 3. What's happened by going into that um, sub trim setting, the swash plate now has gone into a central position. And what you would do then is just make sure then using the sub trim that you center all your servos okay 90 degrees and you then make sure that everything is level okay through your swash plate so you center your servos this part is a little bit awkward but you just need to try and get the servo arms lined up okay and you would put your swash plate tool on your swash plate now and obviously uh, I think you're using the tie wrap method just get it so as it's uh, level there your swash plate now the problem is is in that sub trim setting when you move your throttle lever it doesn't have any effect on on the swash plate now once you've got your swash plate level what you then need to do is to make sure that it's level through its range of travel so to do that you go back to you would go back then to that main menu it's very difficult to film and press buttons one handed and you can see there that we've got the output setup and then beneath that then we've got AFR if you then go to AFR once your once your swash plate is level at centre stick go to AFR and what you use that menu for is for adjusting your blade pitch what you can do then when you're in that AF, AFR menu is you can actually then move your swash plate through its full range and making sure that it's level at the top of the travel and at the bottom of the travel so just a quick video just to show Paul um, what he needs to do you need to make sure that your swash plate is not just level at center stick but also for when you're landing and for when you're taking off and in flight as well so just just a way of, of checking so I'll just quickly run through that again because I did go through it quite quickly. It's very difficult to film. So basically what we're looking at doing is 
going into forward programming there and then go down to setup go to swash plate go to output setup and straight away you hear then the heli go uh, into the mid position on the swash plate go to sub trim and then just get all your servos at 90 degrees and everything balanced so then you check that your swash plate is level and then once you've done that then you can go back and then you want to go to the AFR menu click on that and once you're in that menu then you're free to move your swash plate up and down to make sure that it is you know staying level through through its full range okay then so quick video just to give uh, Paul some idea of what he needs to do and hopefully he will get his 330s sorted out okay thanks for watching bye